green lip gloss, but guys, it is not. <laughs> Look how cute! Is it Mother's Day too? <laughs> We're back again. It's the start of another weekend in my life. We're coming off of a very exciting one. Last week's vlog was Nashville, and now we're just back to normal Lauren's life. It's about 5.45, and I'm just now like sitting down to actually start this vlog. But it was another kind of crazy Friday, as it always is. First priority, sleep a little bit. I let myself sleep in a little bit and then I woke up, got ready, and I went with my mom. She had to do like CPR certification, like renewal. So I rode with her, waited for her to do that, and then we ran some errands, did some shopping. I secured the crumble cookies. We had a fun little lunch together, Aperol spritzes. Came back for about an hour, did some editing, and now I'm hitting the road again because my best friend Isabel invited me over just to like hang, have a cookout, play some games, so that'll be really fun. And cookies are my contribution. Got the Olipop. And I wanted to show you, I got this in Nashville at the Winky Lux store. It looks like green lip gloss, but guys, it is not. One thing I love about Winky Lux is that they use like pH technology to like find your perfect shade. And so when I put this on, my color just must be this pink color. So fun. Look at that. So cool. I'm gonna have some fun with Jingle. I haven't seen her in a while, it feels like, so it'll be good to just catch up in person and hang, see Cookie, their dog, hit the road. Hi! Hi, Cookie! Cookie, it's been so long. How have you been? I'd like to know. You need to know. Cookie. Oh, you brought like a whole oh Have you gosh. been loving life? Have you really? Tell me more. Cookie, I heard that it's almost your gotcha day. Huh? Are you the luckiest little girl? Yeah! <laughs> Cookie, get off of her. She looks so worried. I was interviewing her. I was asking her if she feels lucky to be celebrating. Like a fruity rum drink? Or hey. Give the man a break. Hey. Hey, those are your toys. Oh my gosh. You have corn? You have corn? What? Also, would you look at this? More you want one? Laura. She knows when everything goes outside. She wants to. She has a document. <laughs> Camera eats first. That's how Andrew made her. I just won't eat for everyone who wants. Hi. Crumble. You're right. Thank you for getting it for us. Mm -hmm. Jacob's biased towards most cookies, so he's not partaking. I'm not partaking. <laughs> I like basic cookies. Yeah, he's basic. A basic boomer. <laughs> about 11 15 and I had a lot of fun last night I didn't get back from Isabel's from playing games and cooking out and just chatting cracking up until like 1 in the morning and then I had to like get ready for bed and I turned on a movie which I successfully lasted 
10 minutes into. I don't remember any of it. I'm getting ready because my aunt and grandma and I are having a picnic, which will be so cute and wholesome. We've been talking about it for a while and like we didn't actually plan anything. But then my aunt planned it and I'm really excited. It'll be super cute. We're gonna have wine and like little cucumber tea sandwiches and it'll just be really cute, I think. I feel like this weekend already has been a little bit wild, but fun. And it's also Mother's Day weekend, so we're not getting together with the full family this weekend. We're doing that Monday evening after everyone's home from work, but we're having my grandma and grandpa and aunt that live here in town out for a cookout tomorrow evening. Tonight my mom works. I've explained this before, but my mom is a nurse and she works thirds. So I've kind of grown up just being like completely chill and vibing. My dad and I'll just go get dinner, like go record shop, hang out with people when my mom's working. So that's what we're doing tonight. I feel like we go to the restaurant in Fort Wayne called Catablu literally in every one of my vlogs. We're going there again tonight. So I'm excited. I'm just hurrying up, getting ready. I'm running a little bit late to meet them. Okay. Oh my god, look how cute. Fake Pasta one. Salad. Cucumber sandwiches. What are these things? Corn flake peanut butter, no bake cookies. Wow, and a picnic basket. All right, guys, we have another car chat reviewing Taylor's lyrics and songs. Another very underrated song, I feel like, off of the Tortured Poets Department, the anthology by Taylor Swift, is the song called The Bolter. And the more I listen to it, the more I listen to the lyrics, the more it resonates to me just coming from a place of like, when things get real, getting kind of scared. And in some cases, it's necessary. Like the lyric where it says, but as she was leaving, it felt like breathing all her lives flash before her eyes. It feels like the time she fell through the ice then came out alive. Like knowing that it was gonna leave some hurt feelings, but knowing that it was what she needed to do, even though it hurt, like after doing it, walking away, like she felt a weight lifted off her shoulders and like, okay, I know I did what's right feeling better but yeah just like all these scenarios that she discusses throughout the song and about how her friends call her the bolter yeah I just resonate from that like even though I like know I want things whenever I get to the point where like it's so in reach it could possibly be mine things start to get serious like just having that fear of like this is serious I could get hurt or what happens if I get too far in and like have to hurt feelings of me, other people. So I feel like that's another underrated Tortured Post Department song that I really like. Hasn't been played a bunch, I don't feel like, but I really resonate with once like you listen to the lyrics and the stories and like the metaphors throughout. Well, after our picnic, I came back and I started some laundry, was too good a record, watched Cobra Kai and edited a video. Remember when I was upset my anthropology cowgirl hat didn't come in time? Well, it just came and it's so cute. Look at that. Luckily, I can get some good use out of it during summer concert season and when we go back to Nashville in a few weeks. This will be my more tamed down Nashville fits trip, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> We're back again. This is like the third vlog in a row that we're at Catablu. It's a steak weekend. Catablu's killing it. We love all their appetizers, truffle fries, Brussels sprouts, Chris Lambert special, and their filet is amazing. Look at this goodness. An acai bowl and my Trader Joe's cold brew isn't half bad. I added in some almond syrup and a touch of creamer. Oh, 
It's like right there. Lacey, do you want out? Hi, kid. Moo. Moo. Come here. Yeah, Mason. It's so nice out. It's supposed to be like 80 today. Yeah. Is it Mother's Day too? I'm still waiting on my card from you, Vixen. Yeah. Am I your mom? No, me. <laughs> no, me. I patch Sunday, question mark. <laughs> and a super cute fit check. I got this, you can't really tell, but it's a romper. It's by the brand O'Neal, and I got it on a really good sale the other day. Just wearing it with a little wallet, and it's actually very comfortable. I'm a huge fan of these, especially for days when I'm like working from home and want to look cute, but like be comfy and not have to put too much thought into my outfit. Just as a check-in, I'm still obsessed with the Rare Beauty blushes. My most favorite one is this one called Joy. It's kind of like a very bright one. You have to be careful not to go crazy, but I really love how it looks. I just use this stippling brush from Real Techniques that I've literally had forever. And then to make sure it gets blended in all good, I use the flat side of this is the point where I use setting powder just because I tend to get pretty shiny throughout the day. But I've been using the Rare Beauty powder blushes. This one's in Cheer as highlight. It's looked really pretty. my hair for the first time in literally forever. I used to do it a few summers ago when I had really long hair and I just don't feel like my hair has been long enough to do it so we're gonna see. Also my dad just brought us Starbucks and I can confirm that the lemonade version of the summer skies drink with the boba with lemonade is much flavor more flavorful. Real fun. Let's get down to business. I'm nervous. I forget how to do this. It's working. Stay tuned. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is literally taking like 30 minutes. Definitely not a work week hairstyle. Well, my dad asked me if I lost a bet, and my mom told me it was really cute and that I looked like Carrie Bradshaw, so it's up for interpretation. Hello? Ah! <laughs> what is that? your lips? I want lip paint, Jack. <laughs> That's small. You can fit like crackers in there. Okay. I want you to take your lips off. Another fancy picnic. Oh yeah! Here's a little look into my nighttime routine. I lay literally everything out. Got my vitamins, to go mug, getting ready mug. Better late than ugly. <laughs> I got that in a mug exchange. And all three of us are gonna be up getting ready tomorrow. So I literally auto-programmed 10 cups for tomorrow morning. Lunch is packed. 
ready to go. And I'm having Bridgerton tea time. I got this at Target. I'm gonna have the rose chamomile and it's by the Republic of Tea. My grandma got me this the last time they had a new season coming out. Fresh, clean sheets, tea time. I've been rewatching Cobra Kai since I believe there's a new season coming out soon and just because it's a really good show. And the first time around, I like completely binged it. It's about 10.40, relaxing, winding down for another week. It was really so much fun to have everyone over for just a Mother's Day cookout. We're actually getting together with my dad's side for Mother's Day tomorrow evening. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, we just spent a few hours hanging out, eating, we had dessert, and I spent a few hours doing laundry, hence the fresh sheets. My sister starts her first big girl architecture internship tomorrow morning, so that's also why we're all three gonna be up at the same time getting ready. That's super exciting for her. I am actually really excited to have her back home, even though I'm sure there will be parts of it that I'll be annoyed about, because we'll be back to sharing a bathroom, back to sharing the upstairs. Pixie can't have her toys in Lainey's room anymore. I can't work in there or use in there to like lay out my outfits anymore. Mister, and it'll add some fun back into the mix of things. A much more chill week as compared to last weekend's Nashville vlog. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to be a light and spread love, not hate.